okay uh, today another program using uh, MATLAB and today I'm going to show you like a really nice function how to calculate or to catch the root of a polynomial using Newton's method so if we have a polynomial any degree and we are looking to find the root root of the polynomial it means the value of X that make the function or the polynomial equal to zero so start give it a function name call it a Newton X naught X naught is the value of X we guess it's the, the the root itself then the program is going to move it a little bit up or down to get the exact root the variable we have only one variable call it X uh, we call a function we need the input then here uh, the program is going to ask you to input the polynomial itself of course should be in terms of x and then f will be whatever you put is going to be defined as f of x after that we need to derive this function so call it z for example that differentiates f of x and then the derivative we could call it f1 since it's a first derivative and then we define x that the one we are going to use of course after after doing the the derivative because this x equal to x naught i cannot put it up otherwise we are not going to derive like correctly so we have to postpone it to this, to this step and then do a loop for i equal 0 to 1000 is really huge number you will see that most of the cases i find the roots it doesn't need more than like five or ten loops to catch it but to be in safe side let's put it thousand and at the end of course I'm going to print I this will tell us the number of like how many times the program did loop like how many values substitute anyway the in Newton's method it says x sub n plus one equal to x sub n that's why I equate it to x subtract the value of the function itself divided by the derivative of that function if x equal to y which means there is no difference between x n plus 1 and x sub n then there is no more improvement means this is the root itself in this case we don't need the the loop and we end the f statement the uh, like for sorry for statement and then we end the uh, program itself and then we print i is just extra information to see how many times that the program did these loops uh, at the end we need the value of the root that makes the polynomial equals to zero let's run it with uh, a trivial equation so i already run this one i could run it for something else so yeah Newton for any values let's say uh, 1 point 1 point 1 or like 2.3 something like that enter then they'll ask me to put the polynomial let's say x square minus 4 we know the root is 2 in this case but we put like 2.3 and then enter yeah the uh, like the root here we get 8 times and w what is that which kind of function I put that x o oh. Oh, oh, sorry, I thought I put x square. I'm going to do it again. Yeah, it's my fault. I don't know what's this. Anyway, let's do it again. Uh, that, yeah, 2.3, and the function is x square. Yeah, it looks like I put something else. x square minus 4. Then, yeah, the root is 2, and the loop is just did like four, 4 times. You could try it for any any other polynomial if there is a problem you could uh, email me at dr. dot at g
gmail.com thanks for watching my video and i'm going to uh, upload more videos re like related to matlab thanks again bye